What is Hathor? HTR cryptocurrencies have come a long way since Satoshi Nakamoto first released Bitcoin in early 2009. As crypto pioneers sought to expand the token beyond Nakamoto's vision, they found that much of Bitcoin's base design limited scalability and applications. One of the new entrants in the world of cryptocurrency is Hathor. It is a proof-of-work blockchain-based digital platform designed for lightweight financial transactions and contracts. Since its launch in 2020, it has been in the spotlight for its unique and entirely novel architecture. Hathor Network has put forward modest value propositions that can resolve the problems of scalability and decentralization maintenance, which are otherwise common in distributed ledger networks like that of Bitcoin. Hathor can be described as a scalable and easy-to-use distributed ledger to support light financial transactions and contracts. It is also a consensus platform, but its architecture is novel. It is a hybrid one designed by combining directed acyclic graph and blockchain technologies. HTR is a blockchain inside a DAG, and both are intertwined. When the number of transactions is low, the blockchain ensures security, and when the number increases significantly, DAG takes over. How DAG and blockchain, when put together, improve the scalability of the Hathor network will be discussed shortly. Before that, here define a few Hathor features that make it different from other platforms. This hybrid architecture creates the perfect environment for multiple use cases, especially where high scalability is needed. As blockchain technologies become more sophisticated, tokens are becoming more complex. While many tokens have improved on scalability, most solutions come at the cost of Bitcoin's original vision. The complexity of Ethereum's technology has led to numerous security breaches across the project's history, including one that led to a contentious hard fork. Hathor offers what it calls a natural evolution of Bitcoin's blockchain, a distributed ledger that delivers 200 plus transactions per second with no central coordinator or primary nodes. Scalability is guaranteed through a distributed ledger architecture of a directed acyclic graph plus blockchain technology. In the Hathor network, when the number of transactions per second is low, blockchain gets into action to validate the transactions using proof-of-work consensus, a highly secured validation protocol. But, the proof-of-work system has one major limitation, blocks can't be created simultaneously. And that is the cause of blockchain's poor scalability when transaction volume increases. In the blockchain, one block gets created at one time, all the transactions happening simultaneously get stored in the same block. Thus, the mining gets complicated, validation takes time, and scalability drops. Also, as one block links to another, only one linear chain exists in the whole network. The Hathor network supports the blockchain's chain-like storage structure with DAG sidechains that branch out from the blocks to tackle these limitations. Hathor also lets holders create their own tokens without worrying about ERC-20, gas fees, or other arcane concepts. These tokens inherit the same properties as HTR and are capable of the same functionality as ERC-20 tokens. Unlike the ERC-20 standard, custom Hathor tokens also support minting and burning. Any custom token created on the network requires a 1% HTR deposit for all minting operations, refunded when the corresponding custom tokens are burned. The main reason Hathor is a good investment is that it is still very undervalued for a massively technologically advanced project, and the market cap is rather low. In other words, you can invest in HTR before the price skyrockets. Another reason why it's good to invest in Hathor Network is because the project is expanding at a tremendous pace, and new features are being added constantly. For example, Hathor already features compatibility with ERC-20 tokens. But in the future, Hathor Network will also add support for the ERC-721 token standard. So, Hathor will be compatible with all Ethereum-based NFTs. Another feature that will soon be added to the Hathor Network is a decentralized exchange. This exchange will be built with atomic swaps. It will also very likely be the DEX with the lowest fees out of all decentralized exchanges on the market, potentially making it more popular than Uniswap or PancakeSwap. According to cryptocurrency research and data site is this coin a scam. The Hathor project has a safety score of 5.01, data on February 23, 2022 shows. According to the site, Hathor scored more than 7 tenths on sentiment and community, while its development was awarded 5. 4 tenths. Is this coin a scam stated that HTR coin is suited to an adventurous investment style as the token was launched in January 2020 and remained in an early stage, hence some of the project targets may not materialize. Despite the risk of early stage cryptocurrency projects, some believe Hathor's scalable and easy to use blockchain could become famous and potentially be a good investment. In an article on Techers, Henry Apper wrote, 
This underrated cryptocurrency recently emerged in 2020, and its project is showing bright signs of investment potential. Even if it's new to the stage, it can compete with older and more popular cryptocurrencies, especially if more people start to use it. According to Hathor, 1 billion pre-mined tokens were created on January 3, 2020, but these tokens are subject to the burn, vault, and lock schedule. The project was originally funded by private investment from family and friends, and 5% of the 1 billion pre-mined tokens were allocated for this group of investors. The majority of the pre-mined tokens are reserved for the network treasury and ecosystem. This is to support the development of the Hathor ecosystem, its community, and use cases. The co-founding team members will receive 10% of the pre-mined tokens or 100 million HTR coins in December 2024, six and a half years after the project started. In its Hathor coin price prediction, tech news leader expected the HTR slash USD rate to rise in the next few years, reaching new highs by 2026. The data provider forecasts the token price could climb up to 61 cents in 2022, and the price uptrend could continue, going to 95 cents in 2023. By 2025, HTR coin is expected to exceed $2, reaching $2.06, and continue to rise to $2.85 in 2026, $4.11 in 2027, $5.74 in 2028, $8.50 in 2029 and $12.24 in 2030. Price predictions forecast for the token was relatively bullish in the next eight years, and the analyst predicted the token could exceed $2 in its HTR coin price prediction 2025. Its forecasts for the average HTR coin prices could be $0.60 in 2022, $0.85 in 2023, $1.19 in 2024, $1.65 in 2025, $2.35 in 2026, $3.44 in 2027, $4.86 in 2028, $6.99 in 2029 and $9.58 in 2030. According to Wallet Investor, Hathor coin price could rise to $1.38 in the next 12 months and possibly reach $4.419 in 5 years time. Hathor has also allocated 130 million tokens for sale to the public, and 50 million HTR coins were sold to very early investors in the first quarter of 2019. 20 million tokens will remain locked for future sales after January 2023. To incentivize miners of HTR tokens and keep the network secure, each block gives 64 HTR as a reward. However, the size of the reward will be halved according to the project schedule. The reward will continue to have each year until it reaches 8 HTR per block after January 2023. Much of the network is still under development, and most applications remain unexplored. Should Hathor swap prove successful, the DEX will serve as a solid foundation for the token's potential in the DeFi space. The performance of Hathor's initial partnerships may also set the tone for future development. Earlier in the year, Hathor Labs released a 2021 roadmap which focuses on completing the implementation of nano-contract technology, exploring DeFi and non-fungible token or NFTs as we know applications famously, and expanding adoption. The Hathor team also expects to make initial announcements for projects funded by the Hathor Network Grant Program, which aims to help fund DAP use cases. Unlike many newer projects that are heavily oriented towards specific applications like Uniswap and DeFi, or Zilliqa and Shard-based scalability, Hathor has chosen a more generalist approach. Hathor's value proposition is more modest, promising only to deliver better scalability than Bitcoin and improved accessibility over Ethereum. Hathor's promise of 200 transactions per second may seem low compared to other projects, some of which claim the potential to reach tens of thousands of TPS. However, Hathor's team has expressed skepticism over such promises in a recent technical paper. Much of the Hathor network is still under development, but its roadmap has bottle of projects on the roll. Release of nano contracts, NFT integration, and integrated transaction with other blockchains are some of the proposed plans of this decentralized network. Sources reveal that Hathor also has plans to implement side DAGs for third party Oracle Incorporation. As mentioned, Hathor has grabbed the spotlight since its launch, and although a very new currency, it has the convincing potential to compete with other mature cryptocurrencies. Hathor has put forward ambitious plans, and in the crypto world, all eyes are set on them to witness whether they can pull these off and stand out. Well, guys, that's all we have for you today. What are your thoughts on HTR? Let us know in the comments section down below. If you guys like this video, then be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. 
Also, if you don't want to miss out on any new future videos, then be sure to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification under this video so that you're notified the next time we upload a video on the latest cryptocurrency news. Thanks for watching. We hope you have a great day today, and as always, we'll see you in the next video.